this is a place I never been here uh, it's not far from the bridge not far from the Fraser River they have some uh, weird equipment around here doing some stuff then I assume that these are sewer pipes some uh, uh, aquatic creatures some sort of a birds and of course human garbage wherever humans go they leave crap behind that's a big ferry vessel the type that carries um, big shipping containers Maybe this is a place where they discharge a sewer or maybe they load the uh, sewage into the containers, I don't know. But this is a weird uh, installation. And around this area there is a big pump. Maybe this is a place where the human decay is being discarded somewhere loaded, shipped, I have no idea and I'm going to touch a topic that uh, um, is not very common and is not talked about in uh, the scientific world, in the atheist world but religious people uh, are aware of it it's about demons someone asked me if I know more I don't know more what you know I know I just uh, watched a bunch of uh, YouTube's uh, pastors who have some experience casting out demons from people's souls and uh, I'm uh, resharing, but I'm resharing uh, through my own thinking. I don't really share what other people share online, because uh, I don't know if those people are right, wrong. They tell some valuable information. I have no idea. So, with demons, I, I studied the, uh, the phenomena. And uh, I want to offer uh, my perspective uh, through some sort of a non-scientific point of view, but uh, more of a technical point of view that makes it easier to make sense for certain people. But again, uh, I'm not expert in the field and don't consider I'm trying to give you valuable information. What demons are, are uh, energy code. <laughs> they are information, like you are. You are a very complex information built in a way that allows you to sense the self, have consciousness, uh, think, uh, modify and move energy. So you are able to move information and in our world it appears that you move energy. And we realize, or we believe, that this is matter. And if you are uh, into science, you will know that this is energy. This is atoms, molecules, substance. <gasps> wow, I see it, I see it. No, it, it's, a, it's a blackberry, but I can't reach it. And I thought it's gone. It's uh, the, end of the, the end of September. Oh, look at another one, big one in a, in a tree. Um, and I thought it's gone. And um, so you are created by a creator. Uh, in the world of computers, we have computer programmers, gaming games programmers, and those people uh, 
get it much easier because they know how to use the computer code and create characters and animate characters and now with the AI uh, people know how to program uh, artificial intelligence that think of its own but of course that uh, has uh, human input with a human programming uh, the uh, those intelligent software pieces of code um, can think in certain way so it depends how the programmer uh, modify or added code to those same thing with humans you, your DNA it's a code that makes you think in certain way makes you have certain emotions or uh, look in certain way same thing with AI so humans actually copied most of what they know and what we have from from the nature which is God created or maybe it's a programmer you can call that uh, entity the creator of this made up world even it appears an infinite world uh, a programmer and it appears an infinite world for us and makes us believe that it's not possible that one creator to create such a vast universe why because we think through our perspective and when we travel with instruments with, with rockets and we explore with systems and devices and man-made things uh, we don't actually travel in space we travel into a made-up reality and that expands all the times I mentioned into uh, an older video that every time you think something new you expand this consciousness this universe if you want to travel somewhere to find the end of the universe you will actually expand that with your mind so your mind is part of a bigger mind and you will expand these horizons so you will never find a limit you will never find an end to anything because the farther you go the farther you push these boundaries oh that's a that's a dog ah someone with a dog <laughs> i thought it's a wolf I, I thought it's like a, some sort of a coyote or a, a wolf or something and uh, I have to go back to to the office and uh, we are just a tiny 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 bit of this uh, made up universe but they are aliens they are uh, other invisible creatures uh, there are worlds, uh, inhabited worlds, and animals in our world, probably in other worlds as well. Uh, travelers, curious minds, uh, different shapes and forms. And demons are like uh, our world animals some are uh, creatures that are meant to bite you eat you <laughs> like uh, crocodiles you probably ask yourself this question many times why the god if there is a god why god created bad people why, why god created crocodiles or uh, wolves or some other animals that are actually killing life for their own benefit yeah why, why some people uh, destroy while other are creating well, we are not supposed to only create we need to <laughs> keep that energy flowing and the way we create games uh, the way we create houses designs different projects um, same thing with the mind creating demons 
we as a humans cre can create our own type of demons. Also, there are demons or programs, intelligent programs that are being created by uh, by God with a specific purpose to get you growing to make you pay certain certain sins make you suffer so let's say if you did something that causes your karma or your your vibe to go very low let's say you killed someone on purpose for your own benefit it's not like you you drove the car you were on a cell phone and you made a mistake you killed someone Okay, that's that's an accident that's a mistake but when you let's say you have a business partner or your brother and you want to take away what your brother or your business partner has okay for your own gain and it's with premeditation you you actually uh, plan the killing so that's it it's a it's an act that gets you a very low karma gets you into a, a state of mind that it's close to this type of entity to demons and at the time you open certain channels of communication or let's say you live with fear also fear gets your your vibration your your body energy at a lower it cl closer to survival closer to these entities that are trying to infest your mind to make you live this type of lifestyle like uh, people who live in fear they connect to this type of demons and the demons uh, are like software like pieces of code the virus they infect your mind and they make you dinosaur a really good pilot it makes you think that way makes you live with fear with jealousy you know those uh, those emotions that are closer to survival and you will always live with this feeling of making sure you have things you do things that keeps you alive and it's a it's a, st a state of mind state of your consciousness that uh, prevents you to connect to the divine i mean you can you connect all the time so your your heart and your your soul is shining the aura shining an invisible light that can be seen by these uh, energies including by these uh, programs the viruses that the software the um, the, uh, the the demons I'm, I'm very tired after doing uh, almost eight hours of, of work let's see what type of rock is that um, but you will be in tune with those entities or those uh, programs that are according to your open ports so those will allow uh, the traffic of data the, the information between your mind and those creatures and uh, they would connect with you if you are on the same type of uh, band frequency range let's, let's say you are uh, like uh, a person who loves certain type of music and you will keep tuning your radio until you find something that matches your feel that makes you feel good same thing with this uh, these creatures uh, they will notice some open ports but if you are in different tune let's say if you are a high um, a very spiritual person but at some point you get very scared by something so you open the fear port and at the time 
uh, some demonic entities like some uh, I can call those type of viruses or uh, programs uh, could enter through those fear open ports to infect you but the thing is you are off tune so if they get if they get into your mind they won't stay very long because they need to be fed by those emotions and uh, because you are full of love you are very spiritual and you are uh, helping people you are loving people you know um, connecting to God all the time or to Jesus or one of those uh, spiritual deities uh, such a virus does not have a good place where it can get fed uh, by your mind but if you are a person living in fear all the time then you open these ports of data traffic all the times and if you get one of those uh, demons or th those uh, entities stuck to your mind uh, yes they make you think certain way they make you live in fear and because you are pre-programmed and you have this uh, mental attitude to live in fear all the times it means that the, those people those uh, entities can be fed by your thoughts so your thoughts full of fear hate jealousy and those things can feed these demons and if you the more you think of those the stronger the connection with them it is and the the the, the most they get stuck into into your mind and it's very difficult to get them out and uh, since I'm not far from my car uh, I'm going to finish this video uh, about demon casting and why some people think that is very dangerous uh, process uh, you can get the demons yes of course uh, people who have no experience or who are not connected spiritually to higher beings higher entities it's like uh, they don't have real protection it's like a going on the internet without an antivirus and opening a bunch of ports uh, connecting to the porn sites same thing with uh, with this demonic entity so again I will repeat the same concept so it makes it easier for you to understand you are a low vibe person let's say you want to see porn all the time because uh, that's your mindset you lack of love and uh, it's nothing bad about it I'm just saying you lack of love and you need to supplement your mind with some dopamine and you find this one in porn okay and now you go on the internet on certain uh, porn sites or illegal sites or places where you can get stuff if you get to legal sites uh, yeah you get uh, regular porn but there are uh, people who go lower than that and uh, going lower like than that like uh, child pornography or uh, and stuff like that uh, cannot be found on the internet uh, very easy so you have to go through Ill illegal sites but the illegal sites are gathering data and people of the same vibe and guess who are uh, roaching around uh, these sites including hackers including low-level people gangsters uh, it, it's a uh, underworld that's a good good term underworld people uh, visit these sites including a bunch of hackers and when you go there without an antivirus without uh, this type of protection and with your open ports so your mind is open to this illegal porn uh, guess guess what you get infected um, and in a real world you can get addicted by this type of sites so you keep going back because you get more stuff but actually you uh, you have a demon that makes you go there in a, in a spiritual world terms and um, so that's kind of an analogy with uh, with this type of uh, world 
same thing uh, goes with hate and uh, so if you go to fight someone who is a hateful person if you go with hate guess what you open an, a port of hate and that mind port it allows this hate demon which is a mind creation to get in your mind so you get infected if you open your port while you uh, have a hateful attitude so if someone is hateful towards you go with love never go with hate unless you have some sort of a spiritual protection for that I, I mean you might know certain spiritual practices like the witches do the witches have all sort of uh, uh, practices that they are aware of and they get protected so they can do all sort of stupid stuff and they don't really get infected because they know this uh, occult stuff they know uh, protection methods so they don't get infected so that's why before uh, their ceremonies they use some circles they sage candles i don't know uh, I'm just, I'm just saying, you should study the phenomena and see why they get protected because they know they can get, they can get infected but they don't know what's going on they just uh, learn these uh, uh, rituals and they apply the rituals uh, but I'm giving you the technical explanation so casting demons some people call things, uh, when they see a uh, demon casting, they call manifestation, manifesting, casting demons and they see this person who had a demon uh, manifesting some sort of a weird sounds, weird face, uh, facial expression and some people do, some people don't, but they get some relief and where this one comes from and I'll give you some analogy uh, so when the uh, demon caster or this person who da cast the demons uh, does the work uh, it's applying a practice uh, a practice that induces a state into the the infected person mind so that person is growing some sort of an emotion because of the ritual because of the incantation and many times is because of the external spiritual help sometimes these uh, uh, entities are coming to the pastor or to the demon caster aid to help so it induces a state of vibration or not a real vibration but a state of uh, a spiritual state into the mind of the person who uh, wanted uh, to get rid of the demons and it's growing, it's growing, it's growing until it reaches a, a point like uh, it's not like an orgasm but it reaches a cl cl climax when uh, the stuck energy into this person's mind uh, will get out so it's changing the tune through this type of ritual and uh, some people start vomiting, some people uh, start growling, some people just uh, fall down. Uh, so that's kind of a... a uh, then also you can compare this practice with uh, electroshock therapy they apply in hospital. So when uh, a mentally ill patient go to the psychiatry uh, hospital, uh, some some uh, psychiatrists they use this method of electroshock therapy by inserting an elect electrodes in the brain and applying electrical shocks electrical signals uh, to do sort of a master reset. Uh, it works in a similar way. Uh, it's kind of a resetting the the brain mind energy and energy flow and the, the brain start rearranging this energy flow um, so I'm not really familiar with the procedure but I'll, uh, I'm trying to give you a kind of a comparison between the techniques so the spiritual uh, technique a uh, priest or uh, an average spiritual person who is highly spiritual uh, who is casting demons and uh, compared to the hospital and 
the uh, average person does not really need training but the problem is that uh, when the person who is not trained uh, is trying to cast demons the demon wants to go somewhere because it's an energy it's an energy fl uh, energy flow like the mind wants to do something you even in your sleep you do something with your mind you dream and you travel you do stuff and demons are the same stuff and uh, they will find way to travel and uh, if the person who is casting the demon uh, has open port to fear because they think oh you know what yeah, I'm doing something very dangerous I'm afraid not to catch this thing yes uh, the closest person to this infected person is whoever is casting demons and who is in a state of fear and who does not have a, a protection mechanism and this person might get the demon, might get infected so the, the trick people use is create a pit uh, Jesus was mentioning something in the, in the Bible verse 4.1 version uh, 3.0 firmware 4.21 uh, he said that uh, he wants to cast the d demons and send them to the pit. Um, yeah, so if you can create a, an, a virtual pit in your mind where you cast the demons, something very deep and very dark uh, that will absorb this energy and will uh, contain this energy, uh, you can do that. Some people do a lock box, um, different methods. So if you create a pit, an open pit in your mind, but you have to be very creative and you have to have a power of imagination or, uh, and you go with a spiritual high vibration, then uh, open the pit, cast the, pit, the, the, the demon out and send the, the demons to the pit and uh, have love, high state of love for this person who is suffering. So you close the fear ports and any other ports. Uh, let's say if the person has uh, uh, addiction to porn, demon possession. Uh, yeah, you need to have these ports closed. So don't think of this type of stuff. Don't live with fear, uh, with, with hate. Uh, just go with love and compassion. And um, you should get some sort of a advice before trying to do that, uh, at least uh, don't listen to people online like a, like I am a person online who never did that. So I'm trying to give you some sort of a, an idea. So when you go to deal with this type of uh, experience, um, it it might appear less confusing, less confusing because I'm trying to make it less uh, spiritual talk, less church religious talk, which is confusing for many people who are not really familiar with, uh, with all the Bible texts and messages and whatever it's on the Bible. That's a big book. So if you are a spiritual person, a spiritual person but you don't want to get into witchcraft, you don't want to do like uh, uh, witches, uh, rituals like that, but also you are not really into Bible. It, this is a uh, an analogy, a technical analogy I just gave you. To or maybe if you don't want to do that casting, maybe you get an understanding from the informational point of view. We are all information, so I gave you some sort of a basic stuff about the demons, and uh, maybe you get some ideas how to protect yourself. So. Talk to you later. I'm going back to the office. Bye-bye.